Apple Intelligence is on the way to the 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. It is also coming to the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, but as I mentioned, the A18 Pro chipset has been designed to give you better performance. If you want to hear more about the new iPhone 16 devices, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So, what does Apple Intelligence actually offer for your device? For starters, Siri is getting a big upgrade. Visually, the Smart Assistant is going to look a lot different. The UI for the Smart Assistant now glows around the edge of your display rather than the little button at the bottom. You can also now double tap the home bar at the bottom of your screen to start typing to Siri rather than just using your voice. The Smart Assistant is also getting a lot smarter. If you're mid-conversation and stumble over your words or change your mind, the Smart Assistant's no longer going to get confused by that. She's going to be able to pick up exactly where you left off and carry on with what you asked for. No more, ah, sorry, I didn't get that. You can get help with your devices if you're looking for the manual and she's also got a wider knowledge base. What this means is she's going to ask to search the web less often than before. Later this year, Siri's going to get contextual awareness, which means she's going to understand more things from your device. For example, she'll be able to keep up to date with your calendar, your emails, and your text messages. For example, if I wanted Siri to open the photo that Jess texted me last week about a dog, she'd be able to do that for me. And if I then wanted to edit this photo, Siri would be able to help me out with that before I have to manually take over. ChatGPT integration is also on the way, which is basically going to plug in the AI chatbot from OpenAI. Siri is only going to send off requests when you explicitly ask her to, and this is going to give you even more AI capabilities. So what else is new in Apple Intelligence? Aside from Siri getting a big upgrade, one of the biggest features is Cleanup, which actually lives in the Photos app. When you've taken a photo, if there's something in there that you don't like or a person you don't want, you can actually use AI to remove them. This is pretty similar to Google's Magic Eraser. When you open up Cleanup, your iPhone is going to have suggested what you might want to remove already. Or you can just circle around or scribble on top of whatever you do want to get out of there. Now, it's not just going to get rid of this from your image, it's actually going to use AI to replace that part of the image entirely. So it's going to look like it was never even there in the first place. From testing it, the results can be a little bit mixed. Overall, I'd say they're pretty good, better compared to Magic Eraser, but they're still not quite perfect, especially if you want to start pixel peeping and zooming into your images. Writing tools are also a big part of Apple Intelligence. This is basically a writing assistant powered by AI. For example, you can highlight text you've written and pick from a number of different styles to get it rewritten. If you've typed out a message that's really long, you might want this to be more concise, or perhaps you want something to sound a little bit more professional. This also works the other way. If you're reading something and want it summarized, if you just highlight on the text, Siri will be able to summarize this for you. One of my favorite Apple intelligence features has got to be notification summaries. Basically, your device is now gonna be able to read whatever comes through on your notifications and use AI to give you a summary of this. So if someone sends you a really long text, your iPhone's gonna be able to summarize this for you in just one sentence. From my testing so far, I found that my iPhone typically picks out about three key points and writes these down in one sentence. Notification summaries can also work with multiple messages or emails and they extend to pretty much any app on your device. Finally, Apple intelligence gives you a reduce interruptions feature. Basically, this uses AI to work out which of your notifications are actually important and then sends them through to your device in a focus mode. So it's going to help to reduce the clutter. There's also the Image Playground and Genmoji which are coming later this year. Genmoji is going to let you create your own emojis and send these to friends while the Image Playground is going to let you generate your own images similar to Dali. It's actually coming a lot later this year. Apple Intelligence hasn't arrived in iOS 18 which is what you'll find on your new iPhone 16 Pro or 16 Pro Max out of the box. Instead it's going to be coming in an update called iOS 18.1. You can expect this around October. Right now you can get the pre-beta beta through the iOS 18.1 public beta. However, some features such as Denmoji, Image Playground and a new Siri are going to be held back until even later this year or even as far back as February if some rumours are to be believed. Now this is because Apple's not quite finished them up internally yet. But it seems a bit cheeky that Apple's advertising Apple Intelligence as a flagship feature for these new phones and it's not actually shipping with them just yet. See you in the next one.